Hello everyone, Samantha here. I pray all is well with you. In this video, I'm going to be doing, um, it's not an unboxing because I already took everything out the box, but an unpackaging, I guess, of two items I got, um, Happy Planner items. Um, so, I've been, I showed this a couple of weeks ago, um, my faith planner for scripture writing. And by the grace of God, I've been diligent with it. It's so funny how I end up, um, started using the Happy Planner again. I guess, you know, I want to try something different. I still have the Prayerful Planner, which I do like. Um, but I'm grateful that it's undated because if it wasn't, I would be so upset. So when something is undated, if you decide that you don't want to use it in a particular season, um, you know, it's there. And um, But even if it is dated, you can always go ahead and fix it up. I've shown a video with that before. But I want to show you something really quick before I unpack this. It's just thought of, you see this right here? I used to have this tassel just clipped on to something. But... I realize if you put, you could put, if you want to put a charm, you could punch a hole in your, 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 your plastic, your cover. I use, and I use one of these memory keeper eyelets. And then you could put the eyelet through there. Yeah. So, um, I think that's pretty cool. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to unpackage is this digital detox it's a planner companion accessories and um i've been using this as a faith planner for scripture writing but i ended up a couple of weeks ago putting something additional in there i, I said i wasn't going to do that but i ended up not i don't plan my whole day in this that's not what i do with this um but um i put like if i want to um i have a like a focus let me show you what I mean. I've been putting like a little focus document in there. Okay, like this with the weekly goal type thing. I've been putting that in there. I don't want to show all my stuff. Some things is some things I share, but some things are a little private. And I've been putting like tracking my food in here and I want to just pull it out. I have a wellness journal, but I don't be tracking the well, my food and stuff in there. Um, but I'll show you what I got for that in a moment. So, um, I was thinking about getting um, like some big discs because I've saved so many of my scripture writing and um, food and exercise pages from the Happy Planner. I mean, I don't throw them out. I haven't thrown them out. So somebody said to me, like, what in the world is that big old stack? And so some of them, I have how many over here? Let's see. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I got one of them that has some that already have these that's together. Um, but then there's a whole stack of pages that. I just have them all together and they not ring. So this is called the Digital Detox. Um, and I think it speaks, you know, for itself. Um, it says, wear this bracelet as a relation, as a reminder to focus on your relationship with yourself and those important to you. So this is a little bracelet to wear. I have another one like this for um, health when I bought the health accessory kit. I think it was last, last year. So here's the digital detox. In the front it says more music, more tea, more books, more laughter, more smiles, more walks, more road trips, more love, more creating, more dreaming. And um, I'm going to tell you something. I have this inspirational book, writer's inspirational book. And it says that... Um, it's this quote. Hold on one second. Because I wrote it down in my writing journal. And I just want to read that really quick. So, one second. Let me. Hold on. I, I don't want to see that. 
Okay. Just. Mm -mm. Okay. All right. Oh, to make writing a priority, one must give up something else. And when I read that, I was like, oh, snap. It's true. Okay. I used to write, like, these long posts on my Facebook page. Now, I just be posting songs and stuff like that. But, yeah, but it's true. You have to give up something if you're going to write. Believe me when I tell you. So, um... Okay, so we went over that. So what's on the left side is this right here. It says unplug and breathe. That's a cute bookmark. Which I'm going to laminate that. And then it has these stickers, right? Let's wander where the Wi-Fi is weak. <laughs> the world is our playground. Meaning, you know, like if you, less time you have. I guess on social media and stuff like that you have time to play and do other things relax refresh recharge unplug today pause just breathe um, don't waste your precious life online go offline um, this one says what disconnect offline pause one thing at a time and um, what I've been doing is um, like yes, what was yesterday? No, Monday. Monday was um, um, no social media. So what I did, like I was listening to music. So what I'll do is I'll share. Like you know when you press the share button on YouTube, but I I wouldn't go on and browse. So it may appear like I'm on, but I'm not. I'm not on. I'm just sharing whatever, if I'm on YouTube and listen to music, I hear a song, I think it's uplifting, I want to put it on my page, um, I'll just go ahead and share it to my page. But, if it's my off day, I can't, like, look at post. I can't interact that day with post. So, um, so sometimes I'm off, um, I'm not, I'm not, what do they, what they call it, um, scrolling. I'm not scrolling through the feed and stuff like that. Um, so, unplug today, go offline. And you see it has the Wi-Fi. And then it has the, the crosses through the computer screens. Disconnect offline, unplugged. Today's youth was unplugged. So, I like that. And, um, so, I want to that there so I'm not gonna put that in here I'm um I'll explain in a moment and so look at this oh I like this what is this oh my god I like this one minute what's going on this is to put stuff in I'm gonna just tell you everything that's in there it does it does it does. All right. So, okay. So, um, let me go to the back here. So it has the bookmark. Yes, the vision board. So these are the vision boards, right? These are the vision board. Almost everything will work out if you unplug it for a, mu a few minutes, including you. And then you got your focus word, relax and recharge, and then stuff like that. Good. So that's great. So, so far we looked at, oh, look at that, look at there, I didn't even notice that, look at there. So we have the bookmark, the vision board, which is two of them, and then you have the note paper, right? So let's look at that note paper. Um, let's see, I want to do it exactly how it is to, how it is on here. Okay, so that's, here it goes right here. Here's the note paper. That's a good amount. Um, I think this kit was like $9.99 or something like that. I forgot how much this was. I forgot. And I, I forgot. Oh boy. But you can go on Happy Planner. It's called it's called the Digital Detox. So maybe I could find a link and put it in the description section. I could probably do that. Um even if I don't do it tonight when I upload the video, I can come back 
tomorrow and do it. So unplug today. So that's the note paper and you get 20 sheets. So that's good, right? Um, Cause what I've been doing with paper, like say like if I didn't use all of it that week, you know what I do, I date and then I'd use the rest of it because I'm like, I'm not wasting all that paper and I'm not gonna be stressing out trying to fill it out, fill it all up. So it says prompted journaling paper, it's 10 of those. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. I like this. So it's a few bit more in there. Okay. All right, let's see. So this is the prompted journaling paper. It says, "You've totally got this. Write out some achievable goals you can accomplish in a week." And specific actions to make them happen. I have something like this, but it's not unplugged. That's the focus paper, that focus sheet I was telling you about. But this one is more towards digital detoxing. Gradually power off. Connect with yourself. Connect with others. Then the steps to make it happen. Check in with yourself and celebrate your victories this week. Give yourself grace for some goals that were not met and adjust them for next week. So that's that. Oh yeah, and then on the back, tips for unplugging. Turn off your push notifications, yes. Put away your phone during meals. Designate tech-free hours. Rediscover paper. Mm, all of these I love. All of these I practiced so far. Put an alarm clock. Don't glamorize busyness, that's right. Ask yourself why when you pull out your phone. Fast from electronics periodically. Limit yourself to one screen at a time. Clean up your social media accounts. Unfollow, block, mute the things that don't make you happy. Add your tips and notes here. And I started doing this because let me tell you. I was all... How can I say this? I don't want to say all over the place because that's not true. I haven't been all over the place in a very long time. Because I've really been putting some things into place. I watch what I watch. Like the Holy Spirit will let me know like you don't need to consume that today. Like just don't. Like even some of my favorite YouTube channels I had to like start balancing things. Because you can stay and be consuming, consuming, consuming. And next thing you know I realized that what would happen was I would start going down a rabbit trail. And I'm learning like you don't have to go down a rabbit trail. You have to be intentional about what you're watching, how much you're watching, and when you're watching it. Because if not, oh my God, I just, it's some things that I've learned about being on social media. And I like it, but I realize that it could consume you if you do not have boundaries or a plan in place. Even if it's, I'm not going to do this. Like, you don't have to be so, how can I say, oh my God, like, intense about it. But you have to be intentional. So, it says, unplugged bucket list. There's two. So, let's look at that. There's two unplugged bucket lists. Okay. Unplug every day. Okay. So, um, this is a bucket list. Um, so you can read a book, plan flowers, walk instead of driving, play a board game, a board game, take a road trip, take a bath, drink some tea, plan a spa day, eat dinner outside, go bird watching, try yoga, eat lunch without your phone, go to the library, say good morning to five strangers, go a day without social media, organize your closets, go geo coaching, um, geo cation, go geo cation. Not geocaching. Host a no phones party. Call a friend. Try a new recipe. Um, go window shopping. Complete a DIY project. Go two days without social media. Let your phone die. Give yourself a manicure. Plan your dream vacation. Eat lunch outside. Write in a journal. Doodle. Watch the sunset. Take a walk in a new neighborhood. Put together a jigsaw puzzle. Go to bed early. Go on a bike ride. Go three days without social media. Make a vision board. Buy yourself some flowers. Exercise outdoors. Have a picnic. Visit a muse museum. Write a letter to a friend. Bake cookies for a neighbor. Chat with a friend. IRL invite someone on a coffee date and then you can put your own on the back I don't think I will be um, I think I'm gonna laminate one of these because I want to keep using it 
um that's another thing that i've done um maybe i'll show in my old and my um what is it and my prayerful planner i have um i i um laminated some things that were like printables that i know what you so i ended up like i have extras because i laminated i'm like okay i could reuse you know instead of buying the packs over and over again um now this one says um the next one is bookless paper too so it's some nice stuff in here and like i'm going to god will laminate and i will show when i do that or maybe just go ahead and show the ones that i did in another video but look at this look at that reading list that is nice and then on the back more books to read oh my goodness it's so nice it is so nice this is a nice kit so far i'm really liking this kit okay so let me just all right and then there is some blank journaling paper that's cool there's 10 sheets of that 10 sheets of blank journaling paper and then cardstock doodle paper oh my god it's too cute i love this song oh my god so you got even more doodles wish list draw a pretty flower oh, i like doing stuff like that funniest thing i've heard what's the best ever looks what the best day ever looks like doodles love this song my favorite person a picture there for the people my greatest accomplishment accomplishments and mood so i want to figure out how to use these because i don't want to write on them i don't know i might make a copy and put it in my in there then it has the storage folder and the page protectors and the stickers which we already went through that so i'm going to put this back in for now i am not going to do a setup right now just want to show the kit all right so that's that one second am i putting it in right yes okay wait a minute how do you do this now oh okay i'll see okay and then here is the page protector which goes there here's the bookmark and the flies and this is the storage kit i like the story um i took the storage kit from the health one and i actually made um a dashboard with it yeah what i might end up doing with this one we shall see um, okay so i think and here's the bracelet so i think that is a really nice kit that's a really nice kit for companion accessories um i'm gonna throw that out when we're done oh let me i forgot to put back the vision boards in here so let me put that back okay so now this is what i bought now for uh, like i said i have a health and wellness um journal and uh it's more like a diary. I'll be writing stuff about myself in there and stuff at times. And, you know, um, I don't use it to, like, track food. Um, it's not to say sometimes I don't put what I ate. If, if something maybe it was attached to something emotional or something like that. But um, I don't use it as, like, a fitness tracker. It's more, like I said, health and wellness. Um, not so much. Even though health, wellness, and fitness all could be connected it's all connected but it is it does have its differences um which i'm not gonna go into um right now but so but this right here is a guided happy planner in its fitness so um i did get this one for fitness as a fitness and it has a layout a fitness layout so i'm gonna show you and um you know for me when i don't like pictures i just cover them up because sometimes what happens is i buy certain things and i don't like the, the pictures and stuff like that you know I, I just want something different so i will go ahead and um you know 
fix it up the way that I want to. So I don't get bogged down with that. But then it says don't stop until you're proud. Be your own hero. Right. And um, then there's a woman here. You know, she has praying hands. You know. Um, so I might, I think with this, I might go ahead and put my photo. Um, yeah, I am going to put a photo of myself here. Um, you know, yeah, I'm going to do that. Take time for you. And so, um, let's just go over, because it has some sections in here. One second, y'all. I was hoping that, okay. So, let me just take this off. So, because I think it's repetitive, right? So, hold on. Is this oh okay one minute y'all it's the glue from the you know the 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 um this and so I want to get it all because I don't want it to get stuck on it and then it looks grimy okay there we go okay, I'll take that off yep all right and so so week of so you put the week of it says you can and you will two actions i can take to achieve one goal this week what event or circumstance is coming up this week that might disrupt your my routine how can i prepare to stay on track who can i compliment or encourage this week health ha health habit tracker so i like that because it's including encouraging someone else then where did I see temptations today? Some real honest stuff, right? How I add it to my physical wellness. And then you put today's date up there. Um, how I add it to my mental wellness. How did I... Oh, so when you put with, right here where it says, where did I see, my, see temptation today? Right here is how did I overcome it? And then over here is how I add it to my physical wellness. How I added to my mental wellness, small victories. Then over here, what songs are making me happy? Oh my God, I got so many to put there. How did I, how did a certain song help motivate me today? I like that. I like this. And over here, it's okay. You know, the date, whatever. So you don't have to feel, what I like about this, it's not like, oh, I have to um, do it every day. If I don't want to, like I can do, you know, I'm going to go at my own pace with this. I'm not going to be, oh, I got to fill this out today because I, I just, I don't do well with stuff like that. Um, I have enough things that I, I have deadlines on. <laughs> I just cannot do it But you know, extras. No, unless it's definitely mandatory. Okay. Who or what is currently motivating me? What are some action steps I can take to keep that motivation? Then right here, what is something that improves my mood? I feel most energized when. All right. And then it, um, all right here. Words to describe myself today. Pep talk for myself using kind words. And then what temptations that I see. Okay. What challenge did I face today? I am proud of myself. Where there, okay, progress, not perfection. Were there any obstacles I faced? How can I do better next week? Okay. So then right here, then the week of. And then I believe it repeats. Yep. And then it repeats. So, you know, it's, 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 you can work through it throughout the week. It's not like you have to do it within a day or whatever but I said like I said for myself I'm going at my own pace because even if say like I didn't do this whole section in one week listen I may and I may not I'm not put no burden on myself but okay I ended up um splicing um trimming the video and inserting this right here the next day because I just went ahead and organized it because as I was going through the video I just felt 
towards the end, like all over the place, explaining what I was going to do. And so, um, I just wanted to share clearly that way. Um, the, um, the ideas can be clearer and if somebody wants to use it or tweak it, um, it'll be clear what I'm saying, you know. So, what I ended up doing is, um, taking the additional things that I had out of the scripture writing journal. Because remember, um, you could say, I could say scripture writing journal or scripture writing planner or faith planner. It's all one and the same to me. But, um... Um, when I first showed me setting this up, um, it was just for scripture writing. And, um, I ended up putting some inserts in it because it was some other stuff that I wanted to track. And, um, so it started becoming more than just a scripture writing planner and that wasn't my original intent. So what I did was I sat down and I just began to organize. I took some old, um, one of my old covers and you know I was like okay let me just go ahead and um, organize it and then come back and show so I didn't want to show the whole setup because that's very long because you know as you setting these things up these planners and journals up um, it take it takes time because you might have an idea then when you go to do something you want to tweak it and I didn't want to have that long of a video it's gonna be long already so Okay, so what I did, like I said, was take everything out of here and I just left it with the scripture writing and um, I'll show you in February. So I just left it with the scripture writing and the sheet that I use, um, the gray sheet, right? So I left it with that, the gray sheet. Um, and I showed that before so I'm gonna go ahead and take I forgot to take these out because these I'm not using in here anymore this I do use and this this I use this is not I mentioned before I'm not like documenting like prayers every day but I do make a prayer list for the month and um hold on let me take this out real quick I forgot this was in let me take it out because I ended up doing something with this so I'm gonna take this out too okay and so I'm gonna show you something what I did um but I don't want to show the you know the thing so oh so I have like uh, a prayer list very very prayer list because I don't write out like long prayers in here but this is just like to jot down um a prayer list i have a, a prayer journal so um yeah and so basically that's at the end of the month that gray um i yeah and so i actually had put it on the back of this sheet because i had showed before when i was setting this up how i didn't i actually reuse these pages so that's why you see june here because when i get there this is what i do I put like either one of these or I'll put something there cover it up so yeah so this is scripture writing and um you know a prayer list so I don't want to put nothing else in this I don't I just I'm just glad that I decided to go back to um, my original intent with that because like I said I started putting other things that I wanted to track and it started becoming something else and that can happen quick quickly so remember the digital de detox kit i put it in here you are exactly where you need to be i put it in here along with like some listings and stuff that i put for like projects which i'll show it's this project okay i can show this one because i already did this one right here this project so i had got this a long time ago As a matter of fact i need to put done on this because it is done um, and I used the back of it for something else. Well, that one is done. Yeah, the, oh, yeah, that one is done. So I gotta fill this out. Okay. And so, um, what I started doing too is I realized that it's easier to put, when it comes to these inserts, you have a, if you don't mind having a bunch of bookmarks, it's fine. And I don't mind either, but 
I realized that it's easier sometimes just to put the one that you're working on top and put the one from the previous um, the previous week behind so you see how this is 127.28 if I'm going to use it this will be 215 you see if I'm going to use it um, for the week of 215 but I didn't put anything more actually on vacation so um yeah and so right here is um let me cover that up too so like some business stuff that i want to put you know and so um it's not work related i i jot down my friend bought me a um a planner um for christmas and i use that one for work um let me see if i one second, yeah. yeah. This is the one I use this one for work. And if I have to put do something throughout the day, I could just jot it in there. This is more like a to-do list, and I, I really like it because it just is not cumbersome. You see how it is, and it has a scripture on top. Yeah. Turn to God in the times of refreshment will come from the presence of the Lord mm, that's so beautiful that was actually Acts 8 Acts 3 19 through 20 so yeah so that one is put away because it's no work this week right and so um and I put the digital detox in the beginning so I put like my business stuff in the back and the digital de detox um stuff in the front and so and this is an old cover. I can still use it. And I have the pen loop there. So, you know, that just works. That works well. And this is what I did with the, fit, the fit, fitness. So, remember um, earlier I showed this um, page protector. It came with the digital kit. So, what I did was I just used it for the front. Because I really wanted to take this old picture and put it in here so that's what i did i just trimmed it down take care of your body it's the only place you have to live in and then this is a prayer that i um typed up um last summer so i just took it and printed it sized it and cut it here and then um remember i said i was going to put a picture of myself here which i'm still going to do i got to print it out but i have this picture here of me um and i like this you know I, I had this for i think over two three years three years yeah so she left beauty wherever she went your amazing focus and i like that because i was really balanced here like really my alignment is really good there and so um yeah and then i printed this out some time ago this meant to self-care tip i like dr carolyn leaf um, I like reading um, like her posts and a lot some stuff I agree with some stuff I don't but whatever I agree with I just go ahead sometimes and I'll save it or I'll share it or um, I'll screenshot it from Instagram that way I could use it in my this little journal that I have where I um, journal on these on these statements on these quotes mental self-care and mental health notes um, we need to stop glorifying the person who works all weekend and rather praise the person who succeeds in finding a balance between work, family, and rest. Our culture of celebrating the workaholic is one of the main reasons we are seeing an increase in mental, emotional, and physical burnout. Yeah, glorifying busyness. I just learned that's unhealthy. This, I cut this out a long time ago. I don't do, um, I'm not keto but i watch I'll, I'll make a keto recipe or i'll i don't label myself anything anymore like keto or low carb i just you know um i'm just eating better eating healthier and i learned not to stress it and not to put myself in a category as i'm not a vegetarian i'm not a vegan i'm not carb i'm not low carb i'm not keto i'm none of that i'm samantha and i eat healthier and I'm getting better and better and I don't have those pressures on my on me anymore and um, I just thank God and I can eat a vegan meal I can eat a vegetarian meal I can eat a low carb meal 
I can eat a keto meal. So I'm just happy about that. I learned to break free of those things because it didn't work for me. Um, I had no, I had some time with them for keto a long time, even no carb. But I found that those labels, it kind of like, those categories, it kind of quenched me. So if I'm keto, then I can't do low carb. If I'm low carb, I can't do, I just, if I'm vegan, I can't do fish. I, I just don't, everything is not for everybody. You got to know what works for you. And those, put, putting myself in a category doesn't work for me. So, um, so what I did was, okay, so like I said, I'm going to put my picture here. So I put the, remember the, um, this was with, this is the prompted, this is the guided fitness journal so what I did was I put that all the way back here right where it says journaling and this right here where it says progression is when I finish with the week I'll put it behind and put a new week right here because um, I may have to oh, okay because I made these um, dividers I just went ahead and made some dividers with some heavy cardstock and some of these illustrated faith tabs I have um yeah so that's what I did so the, the journaling part the guided journaling pages are back here and then what I did up here let me see if there's anything okay right here so the part those um wellness pages with the breathe in breathe out that I purchased um a few weeks ago that I've been using I just went ahead and put that in the section so I have a section for that um, and then what I did is um, if I want to use those goal sheets I could put it in behind here and then I did a section for food where I've been tracking my food so and I put these meal plan here if I want to use those I might go ahead and put a divider and so right here is where I've been tra I've been tracking my food um, I don't want to show that um, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, not that at some point I won't, but I don't want to, I don't want to right now, um, I just, I just don't want to, and so, yeah, so tracking my food, that section, and then it go, and, and this size, go, this goes into, um, the journaling, now, as far as my exercise is concerned, what I decided to do, instead of writing out, um, those exercise things let me show um, right in getting those exercise sheets I do track my exercise but let me show you how I do it so um, okay hold on let me show you how I do it so this has been working right so I could either like put it right here this part right here where it says habit tracker um this week i didn't put that there um i didn't put that there this week uh, but i put it there last week but i decided that i want to use this right so and i have some other little exercise things so i wanted to do like some stretching this week so that's why i put that there matter of fact i need to go ahead and fill it out okay and oh this one i gotta put like that okay all right and so um so like right here i put no social media for three days you know and that means not that i won't post from like a youtube like or music or something but no scrolling um and so like right here so i have to stretch and um yeah so because i have like exercise stickers and you know i can use tracker for that so i didn't feel like there was a need to like get um you know like the whole exercise thing when you're filling out the whole exercise thing um not to say that i won't maybe i will at some point but those little things are cute and um they work it was something else too oh okay yeah, i'm not gonna show that because like i said i have other little exercise other health and fitness um like 
tracker things that if I want to use that instead of a sticker I could just stick that in that section um, where it says breathe in breathe out so so that's it so this is my health and fitness um, then I have this right here which is the digital detox and business and I have my scripture writing and I still have my health and wellness um, journal diary thing where I just write about myself my attitudes and you know thoughts and things of that sort so this is what I'm working with in this season um, this is not exhaustive to the journals that I write in um, I do a lot of writing sometimes I don't realize how much writing I'm doing but um, you know this is not the only writing that I do but um, I like it I do it sometimes while the TV is on and also to um, you know other times and I tell you one thing I do I do less scrolling and stuff on Facebook and Instagram and I still go on the platforms and stuff like that but um, I do more writing and reading and watching things that um, I'm interested in to develop you know certain talents and skills then I do like scrolling and looking at posts and stuff like that um, and I do look at it because I want to support my you know um, people that are on um, Facebook and Instagram and you know also like you know I learn from because my feed is not crazy anymore my feed is cleaned up but I just know like if I'm consumed with that all the time then I won't be doing the things that I need to do um, for myself you know um, and so you know I, I just be balanced on you know yeah so that's it so that's what I want to share so with that being said I want to say thanks for watching God bless you and remember Jesus loves you bye bye